Și a revenit cu partea 3. Easy now. The stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ce trebuie să fac? Uh. Uh. Hai, mă, pune mâna și tu. Uh. Julia! L-am pornit! Else, Julia, ești normală? Nici nu este motor. L-am pornit, l-am pornit. Ah, e sotif chestia asta. Am zis că ăștia vor să trag avionul cu... cu barca. Vezi la rechin. Tu, Julia, liniștește că ne mâncă pe amândoi rechinul ăla. Hai să mai mă înapoi în barcă, ne iubim un pic sus în barcă și cam aia. Serios? În apă? Julia... Will you marry me? I still got the farm, my brother. I. Oh crap. Alex, I'm I'm sorry. I mean, I I just I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Ah, I could do this. Wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? I still don't believe that you. Yes. 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 Asta că zi eu simpatică. Că puteam să zic nu. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. Wow, Jim. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We we have to decompress. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. Stay too, Aicha. I don't see. Why am I so bad? Hai, că mă duc. Mă duc, îmi pui, mi-e scurios și n-aibă să nu-ți placă. Că odată foc aia. Că oricum vreau să-l luați asta, parogantul. A fost cel băiat. Hei, ce se întâmplă? Hei, JJ, nu se întâmplă. Nu se întâmplă. Nu se întâmplă. Aia, ți-ai zis că a fost băiat, aia țipa banii în apă. Aia, ți-ai zis că a fost băiat, aia țipa banii în apă. Aia, ți-ai zis că a fost băiat, aia țipa banii în apă. Aia, ți-ai zis că a fost băiat, aia țipa banii în apă. Aia, ți-ai zis că a fost băi What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my God, you guys! Can you all just shut up for like one second? Mocherut. Holy shit! Bravo, dude, bro. Yes, about you. Those are thank you. Come up and let's celebrate. Can you stay mute? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Flip. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? 
Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Da, da, da. Aia oare cred că făcea aluzie la chestia cu inelul. Că a lăsat să se căsătorească. A poți le dau nu dacă vreți. Nu, acum vine noaptea așa cum începe distracția. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. I'm going to go to the plane. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Uh, now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Ah, I'm a caster pictistor. Bini. I love you, hi. I love you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Hi. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Bravo. Cheers, <laughs> Colas. Jesus Christ, Conrad! Excuse me, too. That's a drag. What's that? Seven seconds in heaven. Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Aduc berea și după aia mă întorc la asta. Bine să ne pupăm. E bine? Poate o să las toate story-urile totuși. Nu story-urile. Cinematicurile astea că pare interesante. E ca un mic film. No, de aici am văzut de un trailer. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. In your case. So, how's it feel to be a man post proposal? You want to do shows, man? Honestly, I've been carrying that around for a while. In case. I just want to put it in. Why did you do it on the dime? I just want to put it in. I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. In your case. Dropping a question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I just want to take it. Am să-ți dau lucrurile peste cap. Right here. No, hai, care știe să citească de aici? Hai, una tu, una tu. Ție nu-ți dau că n-ai pus bani. Una tu. Tu, fără bere, tu că faci urât. Excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Don't just do me that. Not always. Just fuck. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. It's uh when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, decompression sickness. Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? 
take orders from this guy, just drink a beer. Bravo, așa provoacă l pe ăsta. Bine. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. Nu vreau să mă bat în Ericiosu. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Adam? Presupunerea mea e că o să ajung undeva acolo la început, la vaporul, la va vapor sau cineva, era barca sau... Aia de la început. Wow. Ai găsit ceva altceva? That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lost in the fuselage, and it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh come on, we've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Del alcohol. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh? I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah. Ah, no, they change it. They change it. Happened right around here too. Let's hear it. No, hi. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. No, hi. We could spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. I'm not surprised. Let's go on. Excuse me. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay. Here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Clichés and all, chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Uh, nah. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Exact. No backseat. This person, you're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Super. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Foot. Gross. Oh, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> no, fine. Come, we'll pick my spirit. I'm going to go Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. I'm going to go to the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You've all had your fun. 
We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Bun, și cu asta o să continuăm, o să încheiem partea 3 și o să continuăm cu partea 4, chiar la fix, o să termină și cine mai fost asta. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty, the only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step, 